A minor crime. What was my fighter? Oh, Xena? Was that her name? Xena? Sounds familiar? Oh, was that your fighter from that house of death? Yeah, she escaped and she's wherever we are now. So we're gonna pretend she got out. We'll just pretend that whole time that I stopped. Three had never happened. Um, it was yeah. actually a trickster and it wasn't real, so. Oh, oh, so I didn't die? Nah, she's still alive. <laughs> uh, what else am I doing? I told you guys what I was doing, I forgot. Why is I, it? I think I played a warlock in that one and I was way too curious for my own good. Oh. Okay. Hashtag I... touch all the things. Do we have healing potions, by the way? Um, you could have started with one, that's fine. I didn't know. Because my, no. my, my HP sucks. Play with five E rolls, right? Yeah. I have cure wounds, I believe, so that should be all right. Apparently, I can make animal friendship. Awesome. That could I come in handy. I with animals when I played, and it was pretty cool. I've never played a druid before. I'm usually frontline, so whenever I play a caster, it's always a fun time. My warlock was way too ballsy for its own good. My sounds like my um sounds like my sorcerer in the one campaign that I was DMing tried to be a barbarian and slammed through the fr through the doors in the middle of a dungeon and ran into three gnolls. And um, that sounds like my husband in our campaign we play on Wednesdays. Yeah, hold on. Are you good? I'm really sorry. You're good. Yep, this bout of vomit. I just wish I knew what she was vomiting up at this point. Hi, everyone out there. We're having Tried some to problems today. She ate a frog. Ma'am, don't eat that. Oh, are we going live? We're live. Oh. Alright, guys. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, we were going. I don't know what our this Twitch is. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Okay, so hi everyone. Welcome to Ladies of Athos. We've been gone for a little bit, but we're back. Um, we're changing our format a little bit. Um, previously we were running campaign, now we're running a bunch of one-shots, um, hopefully to help with scheduling a little. Um, today I have with me Rachel, Andrea, Tiffany, and Angel, and we are going hunting. had to turn my push to talk off so I can talk to everybody. Um, yeah, so you guys can go through and tell me what you're playing and then we'll get started. We can start with, we'll start with Andrea first. All right, so I am playing a Vassar Barbarian. A Vassar is our um, exclusive to our campaign setting. Um, it's a draconic type of race. And I am named Nessa Bazaar. Uh, Tiffany, what are you playing? I am playing a high elf, which I think for you guys was Ellerin? Or something. Yeah, it's Ellerin. Okay, and my name is Arwelda Slokin, and I think she'll probably go by Ari, because that's a mouthful. She is a druid of the Circle of the Moon. A, a former hermit. Okay. Rachel? 
I am playing a human fighter named Xenia, and uh, just for shits and giggles, we'll say she is a native to Asuna. Well, that's very helpful. Um, and Angel. I am playing a wood elf, wood, wood elf rogue by the name of Faye Pine. She's rather... And mostly trying to, like, stay away from the rest of the party, even though she's involved. Okay. Um... So that's what we're doing. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So this is called Blackwind Expedition, and the plan is for these to become adventures eventually, and there will be three Blackwind Expeditions most likely, and this one is called Titan. Um, so as the beginning, here we go. Uh, you're not sure why, but you signed up for this job. There's no turning back. You're stuck. When you heard about the bear that almost killed Ermin Blackwind, you were fascinated. You thought the Blackwind brothers were the best of the best and no beast could take them down. But it happened. Now you've taken a job with them and they are seeking revenge. You know that this is most likely a terrible idea, but if you succeed, the reward and fame will be worth it. Yes, this is not a good idea, but you're here. It's definitely too late to back out now. So, you're currently in Long Night Forest and Asild. The nation of Asild is a very cold nation with only a few months of reprieve from the frigid, frigid weather a year. Um, fortunately, it's one of those warmer months. Aside from harsh weather, Asild is also known for its interesting wildlife, and this bear is no different. You enter the Blackwind Hunting Lodge to meet your new bosses, Ermin and Hamir Blackwind. You notice Ermin's right arm is bandaged and in a sling. Now you understand why they needed help. The bear that they've named Titan almost destroyed his dominant arm. The gruff dwarfs seem reluctant to have adventurers help them. This means they must really need the help. Generally, they take on trophies to tout and sell, but no, this time it's definitely revenge. Okay, so the brothers explain the situation and hand you a map, which I will put you guys on now. It's not very pretty, so I apologize. Um... Uh, you look at the map and you see five paths that are clearly marked. So it's the main path, which is the brown road, and then the four brightly colored lines. Um, the brothers note that Titan has been seen at each of the caves marked on the map. The caves are the dark brown spots. Uh, let's see. One cave he's been seen at more than the others, which is the bottom bright one. Oh, I can click it, can't I? We haven't used Rule 20 in so long, I forgot what I can do. Um, you can take any path, combine paths, or forge your own way. Each day past a week that you're gone, you'll lose money, but taking shorter paths can be more risky. So I can go through and explain the paths to you, and then you guys as a group can decide which way you want to go. So path one is the safest. It's the main road, the light brown. Um, it's almost a direct route using the main road um, to and from town. While it's the fastest and most likely safest, there have been rumors of bandits recently ambushing merchant travelers. This path will take around three days each way, and we'll get the party back, in home, back, in, back home in under a week. Then you have path two, which is purple. It has a lot of unknowns, but should take about five days each way, bearing any obstacles. This will bring you in three days over your week-long assignment deadline. However, there's currently a missing person reward for Detorius Z. De Ra, a prominent druid from the nearby town who went missing a few months ago. There's also a cave system along this path that is home to predators native to the area, including bears. Titan has been sighted here somewhat recently. The money made from finding the druid could make up for lost time. Path 3, which is pink. It's the most direct path, but it's the least traveled. There's a cave where Titan has been spotted mid route, and the last report was over two. But the last report was over two months ago. There's also a very old rope bridge uh, over a ravine between the two caves along this route. You'll take roughly two days each way um, to the large cave. While shorter, this is possibly one of the more dangerous routes. Four, which is yellow is a medium length path. It will take you along the safest part of the main road and then cross over to path three, starting at the first cave. 
While the first section of the road is safe, the second portion crosses the road bridge and ravine. This route will take three to five days in each direction. And then path five, which is green. Yeah, I put that on there. Um, this is the longest path, but may very well prove to be the most profitable. The path will take you south to a cave that has reports of Titan sightings, but is also rumor rumored to contain a lost treasure. Taking this path will make you rappel down the cliff face and is far off the beaten path. This path will take around five days each way. Um, so you guys can take one of the paths, you can combine paths, you can, if you wanted to go to all the caves, you could. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know, and you guys can decide which way you want to go. Huh. I like the options. Many options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I get to pick and choose what I want. It's so nice. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah. Um, so, path number five was long, but it was more the most profitable, you said? Uh, path five, this cave right here may or may not have treasure in it. It's rumored mm -hmm. to have treasure in it. So this, the top cave up here is where the missing druid was last seen. So we can beat him up and then take him back for ransom. The druid? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Or rescue him, I don't know, it's up to you guys. It's really whatever you want to do. If you want to beat him up, go for it. But there's but there's a rope bridge here, and that sounds like an adventure. We could parkour. Parkour? I, I'm down for anything. Okay. I actually, I like, I don't know. Oh boy, they're all so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we want to bow on, like, our two favorite paths? Hold on, I have a question. Okay. I've been asking it while muted. <laughs> so, path two, you said, would take five days each way, right? Roughly, yeah. But path three is the quickest one, meaning about, like, three days, right? Yeah. Path three, parkour it up, get kill the bear and then on our way back go path two to the druid cave and maybe swing by rescue him and take him on the way back in adventure we get some creepy rope bridge we can kill a bear and then we might be Wait. able to rescue the dude can you tell tldr that for me i like missed the first half of that because i don't know why i heard it and then it's gone okay, path three there kill the bear path two back T Drew Cave? Yeah. Drew, Drew Cave. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Wait, we could potentially make up for lost time, but we'd only really be losing, like, two days. I think Angel may be trying to talk, and if she is, she's muted. It was the- I was muted. I feel, um, going path three to path five might be the most profitable. That's true. There we can get the ransom on, we can get the money on that, as well as the druid cave, which is another ransom reward. Um, do we want to pick up the druid on the way back, or bring him with us to the titan cave? Because that might be the best option for back. Well, well, I mean, I mean we otherwise do... he's going to accompany us to the cave. We do path five to down there at Titan Cave and then go up in Path 2 and get him on the way back. I mean, it's a really long route, though. Like, we'd be coming in short, like, past our time, but we could potentially have two, like, not ransom sunset, like, well, we could have reward. treasure and yeah, that one guy. Yeah, yeah. And, if, I mean, I don't know, and if we get a big fat reward, we could just give our employers the It's whatever. That's true. And we'll also Famous. have the head of a bear. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> be pretty so, cool. Have the head treasure of a bear. first. Bear and then druid guy. What if we bring the druid? Bring five to two? Yeah. You guys yeah. are going around the outside. Around the outside. Around the outside. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, Eminem did just drop a new album, so. Okay, and. who? We have a druid here, right? I'm a uh, Tiffany. Maybe you can tame the bear and we can ride it back. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. We can explore that possibility when we get there. Oh boy. I, I have I have really good I have really good decks, so I would be able to help you guys down the cave. Down the wall. It's true. You guys do have to go down that wall. That's what my attempt at this gray thing right here is. That's cliff face. Oh. <laughs> I tried. Go so down a cliff face, then there's this cave, and then there's the Titan cave, as well as the Druid cave on the way back. Because that means we'll get the adventure that you're wanting for with the creepy rope bridge. Now which way? So you're going five? Or three? Five. Five, five and then which way? Then two? Yeah, been two. Around the outside. Okay, so you're taking the square around the outside. Got it. Okay. Path five. I didn't update this at all. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so you begin your trek. You're going through the wilderness of the sealed, which is quite wild. Um, it's warm, so you're not freezing to death. Luckily, this is coming a good time of year. Uh, no. you're, you're warned of the cliff face, but after about, uh, about four miles of travel, so on foot, that's probably, what, two hours-ish? So about two hours, you come upon a cliff. Uh, so you wander the beaten path until the path is no more. In front of you is a drop-off, and the only way down is by repelling off a sheer cliff face. It looks somewhat traveled, but you can see some notches in the rocks. You're also fairly certain you see skeletons at the bottom of the cliff. You can estimate it's roughly 75 feet to the ground. Well, we should just jump. Uh, totally. <laughs> I do have climbing gear. That's good. Um, so do you guys, do you tie the rope off? Do you have someone hold it? I don't know how that would work for the last person. Tiffany can jump, it's fine. I don't want to go down there. I'd be too heavy to probably carry up with all of my warrior gear. But someone else can do it, and I'll keep watch up here. I we technically could fly. We could tie fly. off the rope to get down the cliff face. That's true. She, she can also slide over. Yeah, because I'm a Cesar. I can technically climb. I can be the last one to go and then fly down. Yeah, okay. you can you untie the rope. Yeah. The rope to bring it back down. That's true. You, you might need it later. Yeah. To tie up your bear. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Who wants to go down? Are you going to hold it, Andrea, or are you going to tie it off? For people to go down. I like tie it off would be best. Yeah, because even though I'm pretty strong, I feel like tying it off would be the safest bet. Okay. Uh, so you find a nearby tree, you're able to tie it off, it looks pretty sturdy. Whoever wants to go down first can roll athletics. Oh, oh. I think you're muted. Um, athletics? For athletics, I got... What's 17 plus 5? 23? No, 22. I can math. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Zina, Zinnia goes down first. She basically jumps off the side of the cliff and has no problems. Mm -hmm. It looks like she's done this about 100 times before. And you guys are like, oh, that doesn't look so bad. Rock climbing is common Israel pastime. Probably. And she's 19 plus one, so 20. Oh, you're, you just follow her lead. You're like, this looks perfectly fine. I'm going to do the same thing she did. And you just, you just slide down the rope. Like it's nothing. No rope burn, no nothing. You're good. Um, my athletics is not good. So what I think I'll do is I'll turn into a mouse and ride down with Andrea. Okay. Aww. I will, I will allow it. Because okay. my athletics would not be super great. Oh. So she's just going to be like, 
into this little tiny gray mouse. Oh, I tuck you in carefully into like my armor, or like I hold you, I guess. Um, and then I untie the climbing rope and fly down. Okay. They, everyone was so worried that you would not be able to make it down this cliff face, and you guys just showed it what's up. You went straight down it. No problems. <laughs> Whenever you get to the bottom, you do notice some skeletons. You're not really sure if a wild animal's been around, and they may have drugged them here, or if people just were walking in the dark and walked off the cliff, or they just couldn't make it down. Can I roll investigation on the skeletons to see if there's anything useful? Sure. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, some of the fresher corpses do look like they may have just fallen to their death or taken a poor step. You do notice that there are bones there that look like they've probably been gnawed on by an animal at some point. Um, so it's a mixture of possibly bear food and people who just weren't paying attention to what they were doing. If I find anything that I can take with me that's useful? Uh, you find another 50 feet of rope and <laughs> oh yeah and we'll say a health potion that landed on top of the person so it didn't break. It was like in their front Aww, pocket. That's sad. If only they had a friend to dump it down their throat. And resonance points. Wrong, wrong game. <laughs> wrong game. <laughs> Yeah. I kind of, I kind of want to just like arrange them a little bit, like grave without spending too much time. I pay my okay. respects. All right, that's very nice of you. Uh, and then you, I'm gonna see. I have this all in Word, so it's like super janky. Let's see. As you make it down the cliff face, you continue on the path. You can see what they were talking about whenever they said that it was definitely off the beaten path. Like, it's sort of a path. Like, you can tell that someone's come this way. Um, it's not a good road. It's weedy. Trees. Gross. And then, as you get to about halfway, so that probably took you about an hour, so you're three hours in, this would have taken you two more hours, so about five hours in on your first day, um, you hear rustling in the weeds. Ooh. If anyone like to roll perception. Heck yes. Hello. I can roll perception. Uh, where's the bicycle? Steve, absolutely nothing with a solid seven. Okay. Fifteen. Eight. Yeah. Uh, you hear, if you rolled over a ten, you hear hissing. And it sounds like something is slithering your way. So I would know. like to draw my, my short bow. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got, um, my long sword out. Okay, you guys are gonna make super big fun of me, but uh, I no, we're not. I used you can't even see it. I used an eel because the snake minis were too scary for me. Oh, oh I like your eels. You're so cute. <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> oh, they're so tiny. Yeah, they're very tiny. I have to see how many I need. Ugh. Why will they not go there? Go there, Mr. Snakes. And then I'll add you guys on here. Tiffany, Angel, uh, Ray, uh, Andrea. Oh, yeah. then you must give us control. I must give you control. Oh, I can move mine now. I would probably be over here a little bit more. Just cut, um, to keep an eye out on everything. Okie dokie. Um... Also, all of your battle mats are this stupid color. I'm gonna give these guys dots just because 
they're kind of hard to see. So the dots mean nothing other than making them stand out a little bit. Okay, so I don't remember. Joe, where's my initiative tracker? Help, Joe. Joe, help. Oh, I think you I found it. I'm so bad, guys. I'm so sorry. Why are you bad? I didn't have chat open. Oh. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. I have my initiative. Oh, Joe says it's right there, Ashley. Got it. How do I do <laughs> it? Add turn. Okay. I've done this before. Uh, alright. I'm gonna roll. You guys can go ahead and give me your initiatives. Or I can add your turn, and then you guys can give yourself initiatives. My initiative is 10. Mine's 16. Oh. Mine is 6. What was yours, Angel? Might be muted. I don't know. Why are you? 21. Oh. With 19 plus 3. <laughs> you are killing it. Let's see. I really am. Wow. Wow. I'm just going to give them all the same because Ashley's lazy. I'm just. Okay. We're just going to do that. That's fine. Uh, decent thing. Alright. Angel is up first. I have sneak attack because no one has attacked yet. Okay. I got two. Attack because no one's attacked yet? Yeah, you can be sneaky. That's fine. Okay. I need another monitor. Well, then I take. Which one are you going for? I'm going for the furthest, the one that's furthest away. So, so pink. the pink one, a 12 plus 3, so 15. You hit. What do you do to it? 12 plus 5, 17. Okay. Um, it's a 1d6 plus 3. No damage. How many? You're muted. I'm not muted. I did eight oh. points of damage. That was strange. Um, alright. Uh, you take a- did you shoot, shoot it with your bow? Is that what you did? I did. I shot with my bow. Okay. Um, you shoot it with your bow and you get it really close to the head and it starts bleeding profusely and the bow is still stuck in it. And it's definitely moving slower. Uh, Tiffany, you're up. Stuck in it? Yeah, the bow's stuck in it. Bow. I didn't throw my bow. No, your arrow, sorry. <laughs> throw my bow. I launched Aww. an arrow. I mean... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, your arrow is stuck in it, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's see. Andrea, what is your AC? Uh, 15. I'm a barbarian, so I'm pretty... pretty tanky. Hefty. Ish. I'm hefty. Alright, what about you? Got a good AC too? Hello. Me? Who? Rachel. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? What's your- um, I think she wants to know what your AC is, maybe, Rachel. Oh, mine's 18. Alright, since everyone seems pretty okay, I'm gonna just... move over here... ...shot. Which I've never used before, so... I think I'll try and do that. You won't get it. Alright, I'm gonna 
shoot my little sling at homie right here with the green dot. Green boy. <laughs> All right, I crit failed, so <laughs> clearly that didn't happen. Um, you I go. You go to shoot your slingshot, and like, you haven't used it in a while, and you're kind of like, I'm not really sure about this, and it like snaps you in the finger. You're fine, but it hurt. I look very upset. Like, I really was trying. And I'm like, such a nice. You're a nicer DM than I am. I, 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 that one. I'm, wor I'm working on it. Um. <laughs> I make them throw their weapons or their weapon breaks if they roll it at one. Oh no. Uh, David lost an entire arm by crit failing and then did a. He did percentile dice and rolled a 96, so I took his entire arm. Jesus. Ooh, that's rough. Okay, Rachel, David you're likes up. to really roll green bales. Nice. Um, right here. Up. Oh, me? Me. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You're um, fine. Okay, well, I can't get to one, so... I'm gonna run up, and can I throw a javelin? Yeah. Alright, all right, your fighter is just gonna whip out a... You can throw javelins, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Definitely, yes. You said the point of a javelin. Um, oh, that's good. That's going to be... 17? Hits. On, uh, uh, um, green boy. Green? Okay. Yeah. That oh, hits. and I have the wrong dice. That is going to be six <laughs> piercing damage. Okay. You, uh, throw your javelin at it, and it catches its tail and slices off, like, the back of its, like, toward its tail. Nice. Um, yeah. I'm gonna make a note of that, because I want to pick up my javelin when we're done here. Okay. It's, like, in the dirt. Cool, cool. Andrea! Alright, seeing everybody get into action, I am gonna zoom on over to Green Snaky Boy. And hit him with my great axe. Yes. Ooh. Oh, I don't hit him. I rolled a I, nat one. Andrea, why are we the same? So, um, I. Uh, yeah. As you. so focused on zooming in that I just catastrophically miss. <laughs> you, uh, trip over Rachel's javelin that's in the dirt. Because she threw it, like, a second before you ran in, and you lost your balance and completely missed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's their turn. Green is going to not do anything, because what am I doing? There, I turned him. Yay. Okay, he's going to attack Andrea. I'm going to open the thing back up. What can he do? He is going to bite you through my D20 in the floor. Does a 22 hit. Oh, yeah. I can't hold on to anything, so. Do you hear all this noise I'm making? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Nine damage. Howie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yellow is going to come up next to you and try to hit you as well. That's a s nine. Does a nine hit? No. No. So he bites at you and he is unable to hit you. Purple is going to come up and try to hit Rachel with its bite. That is a 23. Seven damage. Okay. Okay. And then pink is going to slither up here and also attempt to bite Andrea. Oh, oh, um, can I impose, um, this advantage? Yes, you may. Yay! And that's in that one. Uh, it goes to bite Andrea. It's kind of tilty. Can I make it tilty? 
Yeah. And it accidentally bites its friend. Rough. And I know. Hard day, right? Um, it successfully bites its friend and kills it. It's like, oh, sorry, Steve. I'm going to bite you now. <laughs> so green is dead, which was the one on the initiative tracker, but that's fine. It's Angel's turn. Okay, I'm going to roll to hit this yellow one here. Okay. Angel. That'll be a... 17. That hits. So. That's 7 points of damage. To yellow? Yes. Same as the last one, you shoot your arrow at it, and it sticks into it. Um, this one is pinned to the ground. We're gonna say it got pinned. I don't know what any of these things mean. Oh, net, a net works. It's pinned. Okay. Uh, do you want to move, or is that all? I'm gonna start heading north. Up here, okay. So I can get a better view of the other ones. Okay. So I don't hit my friends. Yeah. It's, they're they're having a good time up there, so that's probably wise. I'm good. Um, I'm just I'm I, I'm long range this time. Gonna okay. spin the long game. Uh, Tiffany. All right. Well, since my sling didn't work out. I'm just gonna into a little wolf guy and nom on it. Oh, well that one worked better. I got a 19. That hits. Bites are D4, right? Uh, this one's a little different. Hold on, I can look up. When she has it, um, when she have advantage, since yeah. the animal is pinned. Yeah. Again, if you, want... if you get a twenty. Yep. I did not. I got a seven, but that's alright. So no, you still take the higher number. You still take the nineteen. Yeah. I so do I roll a d four think... for that? I'm looking. Sorry. Okay. Races. D four or d six for like biting damage. Yeah, the snakes are sixes, so I don't know if the druid is also a six. Only a six for a wolf, so she's into a wolf. Oh, now. yeah, you're just a wolf. Yeah. Mom, bite it. I need to get you guys access to this. Um, 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Four... Plus two. Hey, okay, yep. four, three, two. So nine. Uh, nine damage kills it as you bite its head off. I kind of bite at it, like hold it and do the weird dog shake thing. Oh, you're like, shaking Arr. it? I've seen dogs do that with snakes before. It's not, ple not pleasant. Um, <laughs> It, it's not amusing. <laughs> it's pretty gross. It's a snaky guy. Uh, Rachel's turn. This snake just took a big bite out of you. Um, a what? Purple or pink? Purple. That's my thought. Yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna whack on him with my long squared. Does a sixteen hit Snake Boy? Indeed. That is going to take four slashing damage. And if that doesn't kill him, I'm going to use my action surge to hit him again. That does not kill him. He hisses right. in your face. Well, I'm just going to... I'm mad at him. Um, does 18 hit? It does. 
Uh, wow. Mm, more minimum damage. Four more slashing damage. We're going big here. Four more damage. He has... He is very angry now. He's staring. He's like doing the snake thing where he's like standing up a little bit and he's like looking in your face hissing at you. That makes me so scared because I just expended all of my, my strong arm energy and it's not dead. <laughs> it is not dead. Soon. Soon. Andrea's turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna swing at purpley boy right in front of me with my great axe. Let's see if I hit this time. Does a 16 hit? It does. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I did max damage. So 15 slashing damage. Uh, you scream out that you're not going to miss this time and you swing your axe at it and successfully cut it into two because it's like standing up. So you just like take a swing at it like with a baseball bat. Just like chop its head right off. Uh, there's a little bit of blood that like spatters in your face, Rachel. Oh, gross. Yeah, a little bit gross. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, Pink Boy is going to attack Andrea. Uh, let's see. He's not flanked. Does a 23 hit? Mm -hmm. This is a different die. I'm sorry. Uh, six damage and you're grappled. Ooh. Um. Alright, I'm feeling that's, it. Okay, how does a snake. Like. A bit. Is it like a big snake? Because I've been under the impression that they're like normal. It's a constrictor snake, so it's large. Okay, I was under the impression that they're like in the grass, and I'm like, wait a minute. Here, we'll make it. My bad. There. Much better. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, I just assumed that maybe it could like grab her leg or something, but is holding her. Uh, Angel's turn. I rolled a 19. That will hit. Um, okay, so... Uh, it's, uh... Pinch. What was that? Another 7 damage, because I keep rolling 4s. I think that... Yep, that kills it. How do you want to kill it? I release my bow as it- I release the arrow as it shoots down its throat. Ooh. After it, like, takes apart from Andrea from biting her, it- I release the arrow and it shoots down the- down the constrictor's throat. And Andrea is definitely covered in blood now. Um, that's pretty gross. So- I'm partially covered in my own blood, too. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but you successfully killed all of the snakes. Yay! That is supposed to be an easy encounter, so I need to look at that. To be fair, we had some nat ones, and I rolled minimum damage on, like, every hit. Okay. It makes you feel any better. I actually rolled max a couple times, so I guess... I literally only rolled fours on damage. All I could roll were fours. You guys. <laughs> Move you guys back here. Okay. So you are about right here on the map. To get to the cave, it's going to take... You've been... We're going to... That took a couple minutes. So you've been walking for about five and a half hours. Um, you've repelled down a cliff. You've fought some snakes. Um... Your barbarian's bleeding. It'll take you about two more hours to get to the rumored treasure cave. So, what do you want to do? Um, well, it's only a couple hours. We could camp in the treasure cave. Camp at the cave. Right. 
rest to heal at the cave as soon as we get to the cave. Yeah. yeah. That would probably be I mean, smart. We could take a short rest outside of the cave before we go inside. Go. What do you think, Tiff? I don't know if you said something earlier, but if you did, we didn't hear it. I was just agreeing with you, and I realized I was muted, and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And then, Andrea, how are you doing? Do you need any heals? Because I uh, can do that. I could use some heals. Um, and then I'll take a hit die of healing when we do a short rest. Um, hold on. I will cast Cure Wounds on you. I can second wound myself because that comes back on a short rest, so like it's five minutes. It's not a big deal. Sure, because I, I can do it a lot, and then I get uh, my stuff back pretty quick. I mean, it's up to you, but I think I'm okay. I, I would probably do that first myself, just because. Alrighty, hold on. I yeah, will... that, that puts me. I don't know. How, I don't know what you guys are saying. I'm doing pretty. I'm doing fine. Oh, yeah, I didn't take much, so I wouldn't waste a heal on me. I know Andrea took a, a decent amount. Though. Yeah, I, I soaked up some damage, which is okay. You know what my spell casting modifier is because I am so not used to playing a. I think, I think it's, it's wisdom. wisdom. Yeah. Should be your Thank wisdom you. and proficiency mod. Alright. Yeah, it's wisdom. Uh, according to Joe. Alright. Plus my spellcasting modifier, which is the wisdom plus the proficiency thing, right? Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, almost max. It's 7 plus 2 plus 2, so 11. Yay! Thank you. Okay, so I saw vomiting again, but I don't see it. I see, there's one of them is looking at you. Le I think it's the Lucy. Dogs? Yeah, she was on the other. Yeah, that's Lu nice. that's Lucy. She's getting inside the banana. <laughs> Silly dog. Uh, okay, so you guys are walking for two more hours it's basically there are no snakes it's basically the same thing from before weeds trees not much of a path um you start to think that you should be coming up on the cave and you come up over a tiny hill and you see a cliff face not very far in the distance um it does look like there is an opening in it uh, you've been walking for about seven hours. A little seven, seven and a half. So it's been Can a full I day. A perception check? Sure. I don't see anything. It's a cave. There's some grass. I rolled a five plus, um, what, do you, what is it for, um, perception? Perception, where, is it, where did it go? So, five plus four, so I rolled a nine. Okay. Uh, How yeah. How helpful am I? My passive, my passive perception is higher. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're just. Looks like it could be a cave. Um, if you get any closer to it, you will see that there's an opening in the cliff. It's not a very big opening. Guys, like. I found a cave. I, I found a cave. Awesome. Let's check it out. Okay. So, do you want to go in the cave? Yeah. How's everyone feeling? Inside the cave. What's everyone's health at? I'm fine. I'm good. Mm. Get hit at all. Okay, I'm moving your tokens over so you guys can explore the cave. Okay. Yeah. Rachel's still sideways. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You're wonderful. Don't you worry about it. Be sideways. You uh, be happy with your sidewaysness. Am I facing a random direction? <laughs> <laughs> it's fitting. Right. You're just like. This. Uh, where are you at, Dad? Okay. Ooh. Here comes the map. Here comes the map. 
I have 60 feet of dark vision. 60 feet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 60 feet's what? Nah, yeah, you can see all of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I have dark vision. As well as I have torches for those who do not have like, have dark vision. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> I, I light a torch. Yeah, so my human eyes can see it because they are weak. This over here is like technically a wall, so like, I'll just do that so you guys can see the wall. This is a wall. Gotta love a good cave. It's just a cave. Um, so the gray is like stone, and then below you is kind of like a musty mud dirt. It's a little like toward the beginning, it's wet. Torch to the human. And I stealth ahead. Okay. You should be able to move, so you can move however far you want. 20. On my stealth check. One, two, three. Um, am I using, um... We're not in combat, so I don't have to use my speed, right? Yeah, you can just walk. And I look down here. <laughs> Anytime you guys want to roll perception or anything specific, please let me know. No one can see me though. I yep. disappear. Just you're just going into a cave. <laughs> he lost the rug. I'm just gonna proceed as if because I feel like Ari's just really like oh la di daddy whatever. <laughs> This is fine. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Coming one with the wall. Yeah, at least we haven't lost you yet. Alright, I'm gonna look down this path. Look to my. Look this way. What do I see? You see an empty- well, it's not empty. I lied. It's not empty. You see a room with... a black bear. Which is medium, so he can stay that size. I- already. I'm just gonna continue very quietly. that 20 on my stealth check so it doesn't see me. Okay. And you quietly. Um, I'm also going to try to sneak past it. You know, tippy toe. Okay. Roll stealth. Seventeen. Okay. You walk past it. Seems to be eating something, not paying attention to you. Ew. You or me next, Tiffany, I whisper. I had 12. Um, as Tiffany walks by it, you start to hear it growl. I start to go backwards, sneaking past Andrea. <laughs> um, Rachel, if you're behind her, if you want to go ahead and roll stealth as well. I do. Okay. Um, I obviously put out my the torch first, so I can relight it, but I, I do not try to sneak past the bear with a giant burning stick. You should. For, oh, boy. Um, so I'm really sorry, guys. That's a two minus one for one. Mm -hmm. Your, your fighter, uh, has problems. Uh, Tiffany almost makes it past, but you're right behind her, and you put out your torch, and you realize you can't see anything, and you trip over something, and you fall into Tiffany, and you both fall down. I'm so sorry. And... Ready my bow. <laughs> I was made this Actually, way. No, I don't even ready my bow. I take out my rapier. And Ooh. the bear turns to you. Oh, I'm probably, like, more over here. 
I pull out my rapier and step and step towards everything. Um, everyone, roll initiative. Nine for Rainbow. Got a nine too. What? Yours is probably definitely better than mine. Good. I'm not sure what my my dex is like. Mine's negative one. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think I did okay. I got a seventeen. Um, Angel's first. You said you were last, right, Rachel? Okay. Yeah. Here, I can move this over because you guys can't see that. There we go. Alright, uh, Angel's up front. Up front, and she's first. Sorry, I click. I'm done. Okay. Go ahead. I take. Actually, I, um, I take out my dagger and throw it. Alright. For a. 18 plus 5, so e. That will hit. Okay. Not a lot of damage. 7 damage. 7? Okay. It roars out loudly. You can see that it's chewing on something that used to be squishy. So you can't tell if it's an animal or a person. Over here. So move okay. out of the way. Alright. Uh, Andrea's turn. I don't think she can get in. Can I throw a javelin in there? Like over Tiffany's... Or can I do an acrobatics check over Tiffany and do a somersault and fly in there with my great axe? Sure, if you want to try, go for it. Okay, doing the somersault route. Let's see if I can do it. The bonus action, I did pull out another torch and like stuck it into a wall so the, the room is lit up. Okay. Thank so you. I, I got a I got a nine. Do so I fall on my face? Uh, roll damage. What? what? Oh. Roll damage. A D four or your, damage to myself or to, to your your axe damage. Oh okay. Phew. No no roll roll it whatever yeah. It's what a ten twelve something. Well, did I get past Tiffany? No. Oh, okay. So do I still attack the bear? No. I think you're hitting Tiffany. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, <laughs> Tiffany. Fortunately, I did roll poorly, so five damage. I'm so sorry. So you think that you're able to jump over Tiffany and the ground is wetter than you anticipate and your foot slides in mud and your axe grazes Tiffany. And you just healed me, so um, I feel like this is a very confusing series of events. It's okay. Let me move you here. You tried. An attempt was made. Um, it's Bear's turn. For future knowledge, you can move through um, a square of a friendly. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. She she wanted to jump. Can you? I don't remember. Joe, can you? Joe. I'm reading. Yeah, Joe says technically, as long as I don't end my turn there. But, since you're the DM, you do you. Ooh. You're an elf, and Andrea is a bizarre. So I'm not the world's most graceful creature, I would imagine. 
I'm gonna say that you can't because it's kind of narrow and you got wings. Yeah. If you were also an elf, possibly. Uh, Bear's turn. He's gonna come up and attack Angel because she hit him. Hold on, I switched things. And it's going to bite you. Does a 12 hit. Oh. And then it's going to try to claw you. Does a 13 hit. Put up my rapier and just block the attacks. It's slow because it just ate. It just growls at you some more. And then it's Tiffany's turn. Let's see what I can do. Um, Druid, you get to try to make friends with the bear. I'm gonna make friends with the bear. I'm gonna cast animal friendship to try and make friends with the bear. Uh, animal friendship. Animal friendship. Looks like I can choose a beast that I can see. It must be able to see and hear you. If its intelligence is four or higher. It's not. And never mind. Um, otherwise, it has to pass a wisdom save or be charmed by me. Okay. Wisdom. Or one of my companions harms it. The spell ends. Well, it's wisdom is a six, so. All right. Well, I think my spell save is higher than that. Probably. So I'm going to kind of like walk up and casually try and put my hand on its head and kind of pet it, like, "Hey, bear, you're a good bear. You don't want to hurt us, right?" Whenever you first start Party walking. When you first start walking toward it, it growls at you, and then it slowly just kind of stops. It kind of looks sleepy. And I'm like, see, you've already eaten. There's not enough room for us, so why don't you just go over there and take a nap? We'll be here when you wake up. Can you tell it what to do? Charmed. Okay. It goes and takes a nap. Man, I want this spell for all of my characters. Okay. Well, you you defuse that. <laughs> you may continue Yay. on. Like, right, come on, guys. Why don't we take that that torch with us so that he can sleep in peace? Yeah, let's GTFO. Let me go back over here. <laughs> see what I see. See what my elven eyes can. Uh, Andrea, where... I'm so sorry. Andrea, roll stealth. I'm only doing it so that if you fall, I can help you back up. <laughs> I didn't want any of this. Oh, that's right. 17. Okay. And then we're gonna do this. Uh, Angel, there is a bear right in front of you. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna take a step back. Like, I'm not going to provoke it, I'm just going to carefully step back. Uh, what was your stealth again? I think you rolled yeah. it. What? Sorry. Either way, that's a 17, if I rerolled. Um, it doesn't quite see you. But it can smell you. 19, actually. I lied. Because I thought it was a plus 5. It's actually a plus 7. Okay. Um, it still smells you. Um, and it starts to come after you. If I keep changing when I'm clicking. If you want to go ahead and roll initiative. You guys hear a lot of growling. Those of you that aren't right here. I think Andrea might be able to see it. Yeah. 
So Angel's is 17? Uh, 14 for me. 17. I lost Rachel. my dice. Rachel, is yours 20 or? I threw my it's dice. It's actually 19. I was gonna say it's a 19. Yeah. And then what's yours, Stephanie? Initiative? Yeah, initiative. Five. It's okay, you're way in the back. It makes sense. <laughs> um, Rachel, do you hear a very loud roar? And it sounds like it's coming from ahead of you and not behind you. Um, behind me? Wait, no, ahead of me. What? Ahead of you, yeah. I'm so sorry, okay. Play this way. I'm gonna... One, two, three, four, five... Please meet Andrea. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just dash and end my turn and, like, come up behind Angel. Uh, roll... Stealth. Are you are you running or are you trying to, like, be safe? I'm trying to be safe. I just, um... If the action's dash, like, your max movement is increased by base speed. I just wanted to basically take two moves instead of, like, a move and a step. Okay, you can go ahead and roll stealth. I'll allow it. Um, that is actually going to be 12, not 1. <laughs> um, as you run by, you notice another bear as it starts to growl at you. Oh my god. Many bears. Oh boy, okay. Oh Jesus, they're coming out of the walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bears live in walls now. I would have seen that, um... As a no, I would have seen that bear. Yeah, if you would have looked in there. Um. So if you hear the bear, you can stop there. You can keep going. Yeah, I would just stop over there then. Okay. And you double move, so you can't attack, right? Yeah. Um, Angel. I don't think I hit this time, guys. I rolled a four. Uh, do you add so anything? That's a plus five, so that's a nine. Yeah, you would miss. Uh, you thought you successfully sneaked past the other bear in the other room. But, um, your party members were not as lucky, and when it growls, it startles you a little bit. Like, you knew it was there, but at the same time, it saw them. Uh, Andrea. Yeah, we suck. We're, we're loud and clunky. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna go up to the first bear over here, closer to me, and hit him with my great axe. See if I hit him, though. Uh, Thirteen. Um, that hits. Yeah. All right. So that'll be eight slashing damage. Uh, you're hitting that one. Okay. It. Let's out a roar and kind of like snaps at you in the air. Ooh, okay, I'm not that. Um, it's this bear up here's turn, the one closest to Angel. Um, I gotta keep losing where I'm at. All right, it's going to bite at you. Does a fifteen hit? It'll hit. No hit. It'll hit. Oh, it does hit. Okay. Uh, you take five damage, and then it's going to try to claw at you. It's a 20 hit. Okay. Total okay. 20? Yeah. To, to hit, not damage. It's clawing at you now. And you take seven more damage, so 12 total. As it bites and then swipes at you. Hear me cry out in pain. I am not doing well. Uh, 
Uh, Tiffany's turn. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Tiffany would be in darkness now. It's all right. I am an elf. I can see. Okay. All right. Do I have to touch somebody to heal them, or is that something that I can just... If it's healing, touch, yes. If it's word, I think it's spoken. Wounds. It's healing, been... touch. Yeah. You have to move forward so you can see me. I uh, know, it's touch. Okay, so... Get... And, and that's I can get to like the same spot as Rachel actually touch you yet we'll move so, no no I can't because then I won't be able to heal you so I'm gonna go right here and I'm different oh no wait And that's all? I am going to I'm going to attempt to hit this one here with my little sling again just because I want to stay where I'm at. I don't want to get too close to them so I can go over to Angel when I can get there. Okay. To hit him with my sling. This time. Okay, so 17. Oh, that hits. Alright. Now, what do I get to roll for damage? Because I wasn't expecting to hit. It's a slingshot? Yeah, it's 1d4 plus 2. Okay. 5. Slink doesn't have a. Uh, you shoot it and hit it between the eyes. That seems very taken aback. It's like. Yes. Because it's a little. I'm assuming like a rock or a pitten or something. Uh, and then it's this bear's turn. And it's going to try to attack Andrea. That probably misses. It tries to bite at you with a six. Yeah, it definitely misses. And then it swipes its claws at you with a twelve. And that also misses. Yay. It's Rachel's turn. So as much as I'd love to help Angel, I can't see. Um, but with all the fighting happening within 10 feet of me, can I kind of assume where the bear is? One Say, land, there is a torch. That was not totally dark? I thought it was dark. Oh, there's low light vision now. Okay. You guys did take the torch with you. Can I see the one at the far end? Like, the one over here? Um, you can see it. Uh, you can maybe. Alright, so I wanted to come over here and try to help her if I could, since it seems like those two are on that other one there. And I heard the fighting farther down. Um, that would be a 17. Uh, that hits. Uh, max damage for 11 slashing. Wow, I had a really hard time with that math there. On oh, this bear! Uh, it was focused on Angel, and now it's kind of like turning its head towards you a little. No, like, genuinely awesome. I guess that sounded sarcastic, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> You're mad at it? You're, like, shouting at it? That like Andrea's face. <laughs> I just like looked up and she's making faces. Um, <laughs> it's Angel's turn. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my rapier and try to attack again. Okay. Seventeen plus five, so I'm yeah. pretty sure that hits. <laughs> that that definitely hits. I need my D eight now. Too bad there aren't critical successes here. <laughs> Not 20s are crit are crits and you double your damage. Yeah. Yeah, no, Pathfinder uh, 2 has an interesting it's 10 over and different, like Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a whole thing. Three, so 11 damage. That was max damage. Um, that will kill it. So if you want to say how you kill it, go for it. Dig my my rapier into its throat and just slice down its belly. Okay. And you guys are real gross. There's just like animal guts everywhere. It's not super appealing. Uh, so there's, as it falls down, you do notice that there's a treasure chest behind it. Um, so you're kind of like, oh my god, that's gross. Then you look up and you're like, treasure. And it's well, Andrew. Well, I, I am the rogue, so I saw treasure chest in my wallet, and it was in my way. Uh, it's Andrea's turn. Alright, I'm gonna keep whacking at that bear right there with my great axe. See if I hit it. Mm, probably not. A nine? Uh, no. Not quite. Okay. It's a swing and a miss. Timmy's turn! Alrighty. I'm gonna... Let me... Okay. Grab Angel by the shoulder. And you are gonna get... If I can find my D8, which is hidden for me. <laughs> Yay, you get max heals. Max heals is... 8 plus 4, so 12. You get 12. Thank you very much. I just got my health back. Yay! I'm max health. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take my the rest of my movement to move back here behind Andrea in case she's gonna need heals at any point too. Touch person. Boop. Weird if you think about it too hard. Huh? All right. So with your rogue healed up. Your next bear is going to attempt to attack your barbarian. Probably with no success. This is an 8 hit with its bite. And then it's going to claw at you for... I gotta find it. Hold on. 16. Ah, oh, yeah. That, that hit. Okay, so that's claws. As it lunges forward towards you... For eight damage. Ooh, watch out for them claws. Then it's Rachel's turn. You're between Angel and a squishy bear. Um. Wait, what? Isn't it in the other cave area? It's dead. I just took its body away. It's like in front of you. Oh, okay, so I can yeah. just roll and hit him. Well, it's dead, so you'd have to walk around it. I was just saying for walking. Sorry. Oh, are they both dead? I'm confusing you. No. I want to go to this bear over here. This one's here. dead. This one's dead. I want to go to the, this one. Okay, you go there. Okay, I want to. I want to hit it if it's still alive and it's hurting still my alive. Friends. It is hurting. Okay, sorry. No, I'm that was here. a me. That was a me. Um. Oh, what is his number? Four, 14? A 14 hits. Yay! That is going to be 9 slashing damage with my longsword on the bear. How do you murder it? Um, I stick my longsword through its throat. That's gross. Yeah, I mean. Uh, so that one's dead. This one's dead. That one's still asleep. Um, so there are no more bears, and you guys have a treasure chest in front of you. Yay! The rogue opens the treasure chest. No, the rogue checks the treasure chest for, for traps. Good call. <laughs> Roll it. That's totally a good idea. Investigation, right? Uh, hold on. I wrote it somewhere. I was prepared, I swear. Mm hmm. I investigate the bit for traps, and I roll a 16. It's not trapped. Someone 
someone left their valuables here unlocked. And Slide you... I can also do thieves tools and do that too, if it need be. Um, as you open the chest, you uh, open it to find gold and gems totaling 200 gold. And okay. otherwise, it is empty. Cool. Yes. Um, I... And I split it up evenly between my party members. So 200 times divided by 4, that is... 50 gold apiece. 50. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Right, Andrea? Oh, what's that? Because I know you got hit. Oh, or yeah, no, I'm joke. doing fine. It's a band-aid's worth of healing, so I'm good. Okay. Would you like to... Um, your animal friendship lasts for 24 hours, so as long no as no one hits it, you should be good. So we could still sleep in here. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you guys wanted to rest here for the night, that would be fine. I think we should Remember take a walk. Remember that there's another beer. I mean, not beer, bear. <laughs> if only it were a beer. <laughs> there's another There's another bear that's asleep in the other room. So, yeah. I mean, we some... should take watches, but we could still sleep here. Yeah, yeah, I still feel safe here. Relatively speaking. At least her carcasses. Just crawl into one, it's probably still warm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, You're going um, all Star Wars on this, I like. Start, like, pulling, I start, like, taking the meat off the bear so I so we have dried rations. Oh, that's smart. Nice. See, that, that's the utilitarian response. Mine is just the psycho one. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm so should I roll, over like, everything. Wrong should bear. I roll, like, investigation to see what, how much I can get off the bear? Uh, sure. Go for it. Plus... So, 15. Um, are you doing both bears or just one? Uh, that's for the first- that's for the bear that I killed. Okay, um, you get enough for 22 rations? And then if you do the another yeah, no. in that in that whole mess. What was that? It's as well. You're doing the other one? Now too. Okay. Right. Seventeen plus two, so nineteen. Um, you get thirty out of that one. I have so. two teeth out of that. Two teeth as well? Oh, yeah, you can get teeth. Awesome. You can go dentist on it. It's fine. Cool. I see a kitty um, cat. Yeah, he was in my lab earlier. Um, so, if you guys are going to rest for the night, as long as no one hits that bear, you should be fine. <laughs> Let's not hit the bear. <laughs> Nobody sleep fight the bear. I give everyone I give everyone um four four rations each. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. thank you. Four additional rations and then keep the rest. I munch on it hungrily. <laughs> uh, and I think it's about eight thirty, so I think we're probably gonna stop here for the night. Um okay. So we'll be back next Monday for anyone who's in chat. I don't have my chat open. Well, let me open my chat. Giant furry beer mugs. All right. Thanks, Joe. Um, so thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Like I said earlier, we're moving from a campaign format to a one-shot format. Um, this one will probably take one more night, I think. Uh, it might be a little longer. The next one might be like two hours, two and a half hours. Um, but yeah, we'll be, we will not be here Wednesday. So Thursday, you'll have stop, drop, and roll. 
Um, Friday, you'll probably have Keymasters, and then Saturday, we'll be back with Star Called. So, if you haven't, stop by in Discord, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.